The actual scene was eerily quiet. Early on the day after the worst bombings in Baghdad in years left the city reeling, the Justice Ministry, without a window left intact, was ringed by security vehicles, but the atmosphere was subdued as rescue workers combed the wreckage for more bodies. Most people were elsewhere, mourning their dead as funerals were held around the Iraqi capital. Covered coffins were loaded on whatever transport was available, in this case two minibuses. The pain was intense and widespread. The dead included men and women, civil servants and officials, given that government buildings were the target. One government employee said being at work Monday was like sitting at a funeral in the office, and those who went to work had to overcome fear they'd be the next target. No one has claimed responsibility for the blasts, but massive car bombs have been the hallmark of the Sunni insurgents seeking to overthrow Iraq's Shiite-dominated government. Issa Salman was mourning three people who died. He blamed the blasts on political infighting. He said poor people are the victims of the struggle for power in Iraq. There have been two blasts on Sunday. This one hit the Baghdad Provincial Administration Building. The scene there was quiet too on Monday morning in contrast to the chaos around the time of the explosion. Initial investigation has found the pickup truck that blew up there had been carrying 700 kilograms of explosives, while the one at the Justice Ministry was carrying 1,000 kilos. A spokesman said they probably had to go through checkpoints before getting to where they detonated their deadly payloads. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.